Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna discuss Napoleon Triangle, and it is one of the most fascinating triangle in mathematics. So let's get it done. What is Napoleon Triangle? As Napoleon theorem states that when equilateral triangle constructed on the sides of a triangle, then if the centroid of all those three equilateral triangle are joined, then it forms another equilateral triangle called Napoleon Triangle. Mark a point A. Cut an arc of radius 4 cm and draw a line AB. Now cut an arc of radius 5 cm from A and 7 cm from B and name the point of intersection of arc C join AC and BC. Now draw equilateral triangle on each side of the former triangle. To draw equilateral triangle just cut two arc of radius equal to the side length from each vertex and join the vertices with the point of intersection of the arcs. Do this for each side. To draw maidens cut an arc of radius equal to the half of the side length and join it with the opposite vertex. Draw all the maidens of a triangle and the point of intersection of the maiden will give the centroid of that triangle. Do this for each equilateral triangle. By this way you will have three centroids of, of the triangles and by connecting these three centroids you will get one more triangle. This triangle will be an equilateral triangle and this is called Napoleon triangle. As the name Napoleon's triangle suggests, it is frequently credited to Napoleon Bonaparte but by this day we do not have any solid evidence to back this up. Moreover, the first printed evidence of Napoleon theorem was mentioned in the Lady's Diary written by mathematician William Rutherford as a challenge problem. In that, there is no credit given to Napoleon Bonaparte and furthermore it was published in 1825, four years after his death. And also many people believe that it is questionable that he knew enough mathematics to came up with this. But later it was reported by his biographer that he was mathematically talented and he was closely interacted with famous mathematician like Laplace and Langrange. So the thought of Napoleon Bonaparte creating or not creating Napoleon Triangle is equally doubtful. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you have learned something new from this video and if you did make sure you subscribe my channel because I'll post more educational videos like this and I'm sure you don't want to miss on that. And again, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.